everyone and welcome back to my channel and my series of 12 days of Christmas. This really isn't like a Christmas Christmas video, but um, we are going to fix a Christmas tree in the video, so I guess that could make it Christmas. But these are some of the things I found today and we'll get into it right after this. <music> So the first thing I found, as you can see, I found this dog bed, which is completely destroyed. But I thought, you know what, why not pull it out and try to fix it? And then I can give it to my dogs for their little Christmas bed. And I'm going to fix this in the video. So see, keep watching and you'll see what I'm going to do with this. But you can see that, yeah, they definitely spray painted it on it and they even cut the middle. I found this today too. It's a protective color, which... I really don't need it right now and it's actually for large dogs which my dogs are small but my aunt does have a large dog and so does my best friend so uh she actually has a dog exactly like this one so i'll probably see if either one of them want it you can see it's still in the box and it looks like yeah, I was going to say, okay, see how it says one calming disc because I see this pack in here and I have found one of these in the dumpster before. It's like a little lavender scented disc that you put on and it keeps them calm while they have this on. So I'll probably see if my friend or my aunt wants this. Next thing I found is this cutting board. I wasn't even really sure what it was when I first pulled it out, but this piece is still on there, I guess from the label that was on it man they really got that glued on there but you can see that it is a cutting board so i found this then i found a really big bag of the blue buffalo i think this is dog food actually it says large breed puppy down here at the bottom and it is i was trying to see it this is 30 pounds of dog food and then i also found a bag of lamb and oatmeal recipe simply nourish dog food and let's see here this is a 30 pound bag of dog food it says to help support a healthy heart and body from real deboned lamb so yeah i'm gonna be back in dog food for quite a while okay the next thing i found is this mirror which you can see um i really don't want to say damaged or broken because i don't think that it is to me it looks like the mirror part just came off of the back i'm not really sure if that's what happened but it's a really really big mirror and this is something we're going to be fixing in this video also okay, and then the next thing i found is this christmas tree it goes up probably about three feet tall there and it's in this pot and i'm assuming they threw it away because the pot's broken but we're going to be fixing this in this video also and then the very last thing that i found is this rug this is my favorite thing that i found tonight because it was brand new still all rolled up still had the store stickers on it and everything it's a really big area rug. As you can see, I'll walk it here. I already put it in my living room. So yes, I was very, very happy about finding this. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this mirror out of the box and we're gonna see if we can just put the actual mirror part back on the little tabs here and bend it up. Cause like I said, I don't think that it's broken at all. And then I'll show you what it looks like if I get it back together. Okay, you guys, so I was right. All this mirror needed was to be put back together from the back. So I just put the mirror back in place and then put the backing back on it. And now it is perfectly fine. You can see it wasn't cracked or broke or anything. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to work on is this completely destroyed dog bed and i am really hoping that it's going to turn out the way that i want it to but we'll have to see so i guess if you end up seeing it on the video it did and if you don't then it didn't so what we're going to do is we're going to take some supplies um, from walmart and dollar tree and see if we can make this to where i can give my dogs a new little bed for christmas now the items i'm going to be using is one pillow from walmart of course they don't have these kind of pillows at dollar tree but this was only like i think like two dollars and something and then i'm going to be using one of these little sew kits that i got from dollar tree 
some hot glue sticks and my glue gun and I also have some Gorilla glue sticks I'm going to be using some scarves from the Dollar Tree and then I bought several of these mechanical rags because they're really soft and it almost feels like the same material that's inside here okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some scissors and I'm gonna cut this open even more because what I'm wanting to do is I want to be able to reach my hand down in here and I want to remove all of this stuffing so I got all the stuffing removed and there was actually a separate part in here so I um, just removed that entire thing out because I wanted this to be really really flat and I was actually going to use this Walmart pillow and I still might but I saved all of that stuffing because it actually feels really squishy and really comfortable and I have this bag and a box completely full of it okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take one of those Dollar Tree scarves and these are pretty soft and I'm going to start lining it up right here along the edge like this if I can do this one-handed here and I'm going to glue that into place and I'm also probably going to give it a few stitches and then I'm just going to take that up and start working my way around the side okay so I'm all finished with putting the scarf on the top if I can go around you can see I attached it all the way around and I put it underneath just a little bit underneath the main thing there I don't even know what to call that the main part of the bed so it would look like that the material was supposed to be that way so this is what it's looking like right now so it's all attached around the top so what I'm going to do now is I'm I'm going to go ahead and take the bottom and stuff that under and I'm going of course I'm going to attach it underneath the bottom I'm not going to just leave it loose like this okay, so now I got the bottom all done I did go around it with glue and also a needle and thread and pulled it through to where it would fit tighter and although I like the way it looks like this right now I kind of want to do like they had it if you see here on the outside it's the buttons as they go around and it's pulled tight in different areas so I think I'm gonna do that to give it more of a finished look okay so now I went all the way around where the buttons were and pulled it through so it now has that tufted look like it would if you would buy it I think it looks a little bit more professional this way and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with these um, Micro, microfiber, I was going to say Microsoft, <laughs> microfiber cloth that you get from the Dollar Tree in the automotive section and I'm going to make pillows to fill in this area. Okay, so how I'm going to make the pillow for the inside is I'm going to take one of those cloths and I'm going to have it laid out like this and then I'm going to take a second one and I'm going to lay it out on top like this and then I'm going to hot glue the edges all together and leave this end open up here to put the stuffing in okay now I have it glued all the way around on all the edges except for the top here and I'm gonna reach in and pull this out and kind of like I'm turning it inside out but I'm really not I'm turning it the way that I want I want this side to be the outside okay I have it turned the, around the way I want it now and I've actually seen people make pillows from the Dollar Tree from like placemats and stuff and they always glue the edges and then just press it together and then stuff it but I wanted to do mine on the opposite side and then turn it like I said inside out because to me it gives the side uh, a cleaner look and it looks almost like it's sewn like a real pillowcase so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open this up and I was going to use this pillow from Walmart I was just gonna cut it open and take out the stuffing but since I have all that stuffing that I took out of the dog bed I think I'm gonna use that because it actually feels a lot more like squishy like comfortable okay so as you guys can see I've got this all filled up with that stuffing from the dog bed I just had to leave a little extra room here on top and I'm gonna go ahead now and close up these edges the same way I did it on the sides okay so I got the pillow done now and it's all closed up on the sides. so now we're gonna put it in that dog bed and you'll get to see the final look 
Okay guys, so I got the pillow in the inside and it fits perfect all the way around and it's got that soft foam in it and it's really squishy like the dog bed's supposed to be and then let me show you the last thing I did. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys I had enough scarf left over to make two cute little throw pillows to put in the bed and I had enough of the stuffing that went in here after I filled this up. It was the perfect amount to fill up those two little throw pillows. So now we just have to put the dog bed to the test. Okay, so here's Penny in the dog bed. So I think she likes it. So I'd say yes, the bed is definitely a success. Merry Christmas, Pin. Okay, and now the next project should be pretty simple and pretty quick. Just gonna be working for this Christmas tree. And I have to do something on the bottom here to cover up this pot. And then we'll fluff it all out because you can see it's like all stuck together. Okay, now I found this box of glasses dumpster diving also, as you can see here. And tomorrow we're gonna be doing a project for these for the next 12 days of Christmas video. So make sure you tune in for that. But I did wanna show it to you because I'm going to remove these now because I wanna to try to use this box. This is gonna be a pretty simple project. I'm just gonna use that box that the glasses were in. I'm going to use some of this cabinet liner or drawer liner, whatever you want to call it, from the Dollar Tree that looks like wood. I'm going to use some more garland from the Chris, um, I'm sorry, from the Dollar Tree, some poinsettias, and then I already had, which you guys have seen me use in a couple DIYs already, um, a strand of green lights and a, stra a strand of red fairy lights. Okay, and now um, since I already measured the Christmas tree, I'm going to go ahead and cut all four of the flaps of this box off. Okay, now that I got the flaps cut off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that uh, drawer liner that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to wrap it all the way around this box on all four sides to make it look like a wooden box. Okay, now I have the paper all the way around the box so you can see it just pretty much looks like a wooden box now and we're going to go ahead and place the Christmas tree inside. Okay, now we have the Christmas tree inside, and you can see there's still lots of room around the box, but we're going to cover that up in a minute. And the first thing I'm going to do is take this garland, I'm going to wrap it around the tree because it's really like you can see through it, so I can make the tree look a little bit fuller. Okay, and I'm going to use some of these poinsettias that I got from the Dollar Tree and put them on the tree because it looks kind of bare. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of decorations. And now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this snowman ornament that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to clip that ribbon off and I'm going to glue him right here on the front of the box. Okay guys, I thought I was recording earlier, but I wasn't. When I want to show you what I did here in the top of the box, I went ahead and took one of those uh, mechanical microfiber cloths that I had left over from the pillows and I just added it around the bottom because I think that gives it kind of like a wintry, um, like snowy type look. Okay, so the tree's all done now, and what I did was I took some of the berries and white flowers that I had left over that I had used for the lantern last night, and I went ahead and added those. I added this pick, and then like I said, I added the red poinsettias, and I wish I had some lights to put on it. I was going to put those green or red lights on it, but I really didn't like the way that it looked. That green's like super bright green, so I think I'm going to get some like just lights this color, like little fairy lights, and put it all on the tree. So I think it looks really good here in my entryway with everything else. What do you guys think? Especially for getting it for free, you know, and I just spent a few dollars fixing everything up. But I like how the box ended up turning out, how that looks. So this is uh, the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you're liking the 12 days of Christmas. We're getting kind of close to coming down to the end there. If you have any ideas that you want me to do, leave it down in the comments and I will make a video. And like always, thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.